should just start right here. In Luther's explanation of the third article of the Apostles' Creed, anytime we have a conversation about faith and believing in Jesus, we should start here. I believe that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ my Lord or come to him. I believe that I cannot believe. And that sets us on the right path. I can't do it on my own. Dear friends, I've been to a lot of funerals, and I've looked into a lot of caskets, and not one time have I ever seen anyone in the casket sit up and say, I've decided to be alive. I've never seen any pregnancy where the child decided to come into existence on his own. We cannot believe on our own, but the Holy Spirit calls us by the gospel. You see, the great gift is that in our deadness, Christ comes to us. Man's mistake is thinking that somehow we can go to God. I had a friend of mine in seminary, a good professor, and he said religion is when man tries to crawl up to God. Christianity is when God comes to us. I believe that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ my Lord or come to him. But the Holy Spirit has called me by the gospel. The Holy Spirit puts me in the place that I might hear Jesus, that I might hear of his incarnation into the world to live as my Savior, as my perfect sacrifice. The Holy Spirit has called me by the gospel that I see Jesus' wonderful works so that I might see him as God's promise for me, for you, for our forgiveness. We're called by the gospel. We're, that gospel is planted in our ears so that we might hear the news of Jesus and know and believe. You see, God is doing the work. When we talk in the third article of the Apostles' Creed, we talk about the Holy Christian Church. I believe in the Holy Christian Church. I believe that it's in the church where the gospel of Christ is rightly preached and the gospel and the sacraments are rightly administered. You see, there is God coming to us. In the preaching of the word, by faith we cling to Christ alone for our forgiveness. And in the sacraments, there we receive Jesus in water and word in the waters of baptism. The Holy Spirit connects us to the cross of Christ, and there we are forgiven. The Holy Spirit gives us the promise that he will be with us always. He will give us faith to believe and cling to these promises. I believe I cannot believe, but I believe the Holy Spirit can raise me to life through the gospel, and he has. We see the Lord's Supper, the gathering there, and the same Jesus that was on the cross that shed his very real blood for you is given to you for the forgiveness of your sins. You see, dear saints, I believe that I cannot, on, by my own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ. But the Holy Spirit has called me by the gospel, called us by Jesus Christ, has given us faith that we might live in his gifts. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.